Her stature is tall physically. Her mental capacity is far above the norm. Her demeanor is exquisite. Her expression is pleasant. Her personality is unique. Her overall general appearance is gorgeous. She walks in supreme grace, elegance, and dignity with her head held high in a height in which God himself agrees and approves because it silently and humbly says, I'm proud of this gift of womanhood that God has bestowed upon me. And when she walks, she covers her ground well. Her movements are beautifully calculated and attractive. Her nature is poised and her manner is charming. And she encompasses and embodies all of the elements of sereneness. And her very presence bring on the sunshine. She is, without a doubt, the epitome of graciousness. The magnetic and enchanting presence that she generates demand a godly respect without her saying a word because the atmosphere surrounding her moves gently aside to let this God-created jewel walk gently and quietly through to take full command of her space, leaving her luster and glow on the molecules and atoms that touched her, therefore casting a unique spell and influence on all individuals in close proximity to her. This wonderful and gorgeous masterpiece is Mother Barbara McCool Lewis. She has lived and carried herself above reproach in all areas. She has impeccable manners and good behavior. She's proper and she knows how to act in all situations. In other words, she's a class act, a first class lady. She is reachable and touchable, friendly, but a no-nonsense person. She is extremely intelligent and very well educated. So therefore, she is not threatened and intimidated by other smart women with skill and ability. Even though she is saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost and that with a mighty, mighty burning fire, her educational achievements include an Associate of Arts degree, a Bachelor of Arts degree. She attended the prestigious Fuller Theological Seminary. She holds a Master of Arts degree in theology, as well as an honorary doctorate degree from the Southern California School of Ministry. Now, is she bad or not? Now, she has an illustrious bio in the book. Now, I will not take up time to read it because you can read it on your own time. Because at this time, I would like to share something more about her that is not in the book. Our friendship goes back more than 48 years. I have never had to watch my back around her. because she has always had flowers and a gift basket in her hand rather than a knife. Never once in 48 years have we had angry words or had an attitude toward each other. Never once have we tried to set each other straight. And as her former jurisdictional bishop's wife, she has never ignored me, tried to upstage me, undermine, outdistance, get over on, downbeat, or un outshine me. Never in 48 years have I ever heard of anything negative that she has said behind my back. She has always supported and been instrumental in contributing valuable suggestions 
and ideas and words of encouragement to me as well as others. Among her many virtues, she has mastered two very important things in life. And these two things are evenness of temper and soundness and steadiness of mind. Her temperament and personality does not change like the weather. Sunshine and kindness one day and a blizzard and meanness the next day. You know what to expect from her from one day to the next, and that is love and kindness. Her mind is not fickle, but stable. She exemplifies the mind of Christ. She's not a busybody. You will never find Mother Barbara McCoo Lewis in a petty dispute or a street fight argument. You will never find her engaging in gossip and devastating conversation. She is careful about what she does and what she says and to whom she says it to. She has only one face, and that's the serene, sophisticated, and beautiful one that you see. She's not double-tongued, meaning that she does not talk out of both sides of her mouth at the same time. If it's not going to uplift, a bill, enhance, or contribute to the value and worth of a person, then she does not say it. She has all the signs of being a very healthy woman, physically and mentally. She is a wonderful and excellent leader. I'm closing now, so the introduction won't be as long as the message. But this lovely lady is magnificent. Why and how is it that she can be this way? The reason is because she is so secure with herself and extremely satisfied with her station in life. She's her own person. She operates by the leading of God according to the agenda that he has given her. She carries her own built-in light Therefore, making it unnecessary for her to receive illumination and brightness from someone else's light because her light shines constantly. Barbara McCool Lewis has built a monument in the hearts of us in California. We love her beyond words. And if we feel this way, I know that the world cannot contain the monumental structure that she has built in the hearts of her wonderful husband, Bishop James A. Lewis, and her beautiful family, which she will introduce. We salute you, Mother Barbara McCool Lewis. Not only are you God's special woman, but you are indeed our special woman also. Congratulations on your appointment as the new supervisor of women. Now, after this next selection from the beautiful lady Elizabeth Thuston Roan, the next voice you will hear is that of our wonderful new supervisor, Mother Barbara McCool Lewis. <laughs> 